Hello Mila, hello Jack. Welcome to Storytime with Grandad. Today's book is Pingu and the Broken Vase. Mum was off to town to do some shopping. Dad will be home just after five o'clock, she told Pingu and Pinga. Be good until he gets here. Of course, promised the little penguins. When Mum was gone, hooray, said Pinga, now for some fun. I know, said Pingu. Let's build a make-believe ice cave. Pinga helped Pingu move the chairs to the middle of the room. Then Pingu covered the chairs with a yellow blanket to make a roof. He held it up with a broom. The ice cave was nearly finished, but something was missing. We need some comfy cushions to sit on, said Pingu, and some toys to play with as well. I'll go. So off he went to collect them. Clever Pingu, said Pinga. Now, there wasn't much room in the cave. Move over, said Pingu. He pushed Pinga. Pinga pushed him back, and with all the pushing, the cave collapsed. That was your fault, Pinga shouted at Pingu. She was so cross with her brother that she threw a cushion at him. Boof! The cushion hit Pingu on the head. Whack, said Pingu in outrage. Yak, yak. Pingu picked up the cushion and chased Pinga around the room. Then he threw the cushion at her. Unluckily, Pingu wasn't a very good shot. The cushion missed Pinga and hit a vase instead. Crash! The vase hit the floor and broke into little blue pieces. Oh no, gasped Pinga. You've broken Mum's best vase. You're so naughty, Pingu. Ah, said Pingu, you started it. And they began to argue again. They were so busy bickering that they didn't realise how late it was until... Look at the time, gasped Pingu suddenly. Dad'll be home any minute. Help me tidy up, Pinga. Pinga put the chairs, cushions and toys away. Quick, quick, quick. Pingu wrapped up the broken vase in a blanket. I need to hide this somewhere so Dad won't see it, Pingu said to himself. Then he spotted the laundry cupboard. Perfect, thought Pingu, as he hid the bundle inside the cupboard. Phew, made it, sighed Pingu. Don't tell Dad, Pinga. I promise, Pingu agreed. Seconds later, Dad walked in holding some flowers. How pretty, said Pinga. They're a special present for Mum, Dad smiled. I'll just get that blue vase. Oh no, thought Pingu. Of course, when Dad went to get the vase, it wasn't there. Oh, said Dad, surprised. Where's the blue vase gone? Don't say anything, Pinga, hissed Pingu. I promise, Pinga whispered. Then Dad spotted a clue on the floor. What's this, he said. It's a piece of vase. What has happened? It was Pingu, shouted Pinga. He broke the vase. He hid the pieces in the cupboard. Dad opened the cupboard door and found the broken vase. What have you got to say about this, Pingu? he asked. Nothing, said Pingu in a sad little voice. Pingu started to cry. Big fat tears splashed on the floor. I'm sorry, sobbed Pingu. I didn't mean to break the vase. Now you can't give Mama flowers. Pingu looked so upset that Dad couldn't be cross with him anymore. Don't cry, Pingu, he said. We'll find another vase. As Dad looked around the room, he spotted a jar of his favourite pickles. Aha, said Dad. With a big smile, Dad ate the last pickle in the jar. Yum, yum, he said, licking his beak. Pingu and Pinga were puzzled. What are you doing, Dad? asked Pingu at last. Wait and see, Dad laughed. The pickle jar made a splendid vase for the flowers. Mum was so pleased that she wasn't even cross with Pingu. It's very unusual, Mum smiled, and all of my friends will want one now. Then everybody laughed, especially Pingu. The end. Bye-bye, Mira. Bye-bye, Jack. See you soon. Bye.